Thank you. Uh, I'd like to call to the, the podium now Dr. Isadora Leidenfrost. Hello, beautiful people. My name is Dr. Isadora, and I'm a filmmaker. I make documentary, documentary films. I have a film company called Soulful Media, which is based here in the Chicagoland area. And I make films about all different types of religious traditions, but specifically women's stories in those religious traditions. And today I'm here to present my trailer for my film, which is my latest film, Herstory. And it's The Visionary Life of Lydia Rule and the Banners of the Divine Feminine. And you can see some of Lydia's banners in the back there. And the last public exhibition of Lydia's banners, which was over 300 goddesses from every single religious and spiritual tradition was actually at the 2015 parliament and the parliament is featured in the film the film is a one hour long film and ultimately Lydia was tired of teaching history so she started teaching herstory and she was an artist and she was a scholar and she was an amazing woman and she passed away in 2016 so without further ado I'm going to show my trailer One of the things Lydia said was, we've heard history, we've got to tell her story now. Men have not been telling women's history. They can't tell the women's story. That's why it's so important for women to tell the story. So we have to step out of the shadows and our artwork and our, our images of women as divine is a big part of it. And she was one of the founders of that. Women's stories weren't valued and they weren't teaching them. And I just decided, I'm going to teach it. Lydia Rule, who was known as Yaya by family and friends, was an 81-year-old matriarch, artist, and goddess scholar. She created and exhibited her art, wrote books, and led workshops and women's journeys all over the globe. My life mission has been to bring the goddess story alive through art. And women have been objectified forever and silenced. I wanted to speak and be heard, and, I, and it seemed like through art, that was the way. The goddess called me and said, you're going to do this. And I said, okay. It opens people to the whole idea, the entire scope of female divine images. Nobody is doing what Lydia is getting out there. She broke some barriers with her artwork. She tackled the whole world. All those banners that she did, what an incredible achievement. At age 60, Lydia began creating her goddess banners, which are visionary images of the sacred feminine drawn from all cultures. She used her more than 300 banners to empower, teach, and share their stories in 38 countries. The joy literally is in the journey. Lots of journeys, but these girls take many more than I do. I physically couldn't go as many places as they go. Along the way, I discovered that art is long and life is brief. On February 1st, 2016, Lydia found out that she had an aggressive and an operable brain tumor. Her doctor said she had less than three months to live. Even as she faced death, she was going to keep. I realized that I did have a choice to continue to teach how to die. Lydia really did it the right way, to have a party for herself before she died. What a wonderful way to go. I want to take the fear away. Over 300 people from all walks of life came together to say goodbye and honor the passing of a matriarch. This is a celebration, Lydia, of your amazing life. I really think that all of my beliefs and confidence and beliefs in women and why I want to be a philosopher is all because of Yaya. So I know that you paint goddesses and teach about goddesses, but to us, Yaya, you, you are a goddess.
So thank you. I just want to thank the Parliament for having me. If you're curious about my firm, I film Herstory or any of my other 14 films that I've made, please come to talk to me. I'm, I love curious people, so thank you very much.